Now, you're known big time, like I said. <laughs> 1980, the Blue Lagoon, you and, and Brooke Shields. Um, did you always want to be an actor? Because that was uh, some time ago. Did yeah, is that no, what you set I, out to do? I, I, no, I, being an actor was the furthest thing in my life at that period of time. Really? I was in high school. I always wanted to play pro baseball. That was my dream. I worked really hard at being a pro athlete and wanting to be a, a, a pro ball player. That was that was it. Well, my whole world changed. It, it, the, the movie was the biggest hit that Columbia Pictures had of 1980. They put me on a world tour for a year and a half or something ridiculous all over the world. They made me a star before I even got to these, these countries. After the movie, um, there, were, there was a lot of turmoil of as far as Hollywood scene goes. Hollywood scene was, was very crazy. Yeah. I mean, I was Golden Globe nominee, I was presenting Academy Awards, I was parties all the time. Yeah. And it got to a point where I was home one Christmas with my wife and my son, and I uh, went out with my buddies, uh, we drank up a storm, came back, uh, had a fight with the wife, uh, just just was ugly um, in my, my parents' house back in New York. The next day, uh, my parents called me down and they said, look, um, you're disrupting the household and we want you to leave. And it just was the straw that broke the camel's back for me. And it just, it just blew up on me. And so all of a sudden I started laughing and crying and throwing up and I, I just had a complete breakdown. And uh, you know, I'm just a very blessed guy with a very loving family, very close loving family. Yeah. Um, and so I went into rehab and I got tossed into the clink for 28 days. And I came out of there uh, realizing that I wanted to be a dad more than I wanted to be a drunk. Mm 